Well, in just five years, it's estimated there will be more than one million jobs for computer scientists. Then there will actually be people qualified for these jobs. And part of the reason for the deficit, girls who are not going into technology fields. But now, one of the biggest names in high tech is trying to change that. You know, ABC's Lana Zak. As a young girl, Meryl dreamed of being a dancer. I've been dancing since I think I could walk. And she had another dream. And then I've been writing software since I was nine. I always say that dance is for my heart and uh, computer science is for my mind. The combination unusual. Studying computers, Meryl was often the only female. It is difficult sometimes to be a woman in software because there is you just feel a little bit out of place sometimes. So. In fact, despite yeah, an emphasis on science, technology, engineering, and math, otherwise known as STEM, Sorry. the percentages of females pursuing hey. technology careers is rapidly dwindling. It is the only place within STEM where women have actually declined. In the 80s, we were between 34 and 39 percent, and today we're at 18 percent of computer science graduates are women. New research finds that before the 80s, women were on pace to actually eclipse men in computer science. But those numbers plunged as movies like Weird Science and Revenge of the Nerds and games on home PCs were marketed almost exclusively to boys. Google wants to change that, turning to TV and Hollywood to encourage more scripts featuring girls who code. I am like the best coder in there, but suddenly I'm a joke. Google and Mural consulted with the ABC Family show The Fosters for tonight's finale. Like, but why can't she be both smart and sexy? Why, why do you have to choose? Hoping that this message will encourage future programmers who, like Meryl, pursue all their dreams, including making life more interesting with code. And when a girl realizes her full potential, Rena and TJ, in science and technology, the results can be explosive. For World News Now, Lana Zapp, ABC News, New York. That's pretty cool. Uh, you know, it's a great line about being smart and sexy. It's you don't true. have to choose. That's always this idea of you have to be either or when it comes to things, especially for young women. You have to be this, or she's good it's looking, true. she's not smart. If she's smart, she's got to be. No, you can be both. They always smart wanna... is sexy. There you go. Don't get me going on this topic this Smart evening. is sexy, huh? It is.